Hey guys, I'm Corey from Freefly, and uh, we're here today to talk about the Wedge, our new lens control system that controls focus, iris, and zoom, and the pairing of that with the Mobi controller. Uh, this is the Wedge unit itself. So the Wedge comes with itself and the top rail clamp for a Mobi. All the ports are aligned on this face. Uh, up at the top we have the camera and RS-232 serial port. That's for controlling cameras, uh, start-stop, that sort of thing. Uh, CAN bus, that's a serial protocol for expansion in the future. And then we have the three lens motor ports, uh, zoom, iris, and focus. And down on the bottom we have the power port. And then on the face of the unit we have the bind button. Uh, it's just a little push button that allows it to connect to the Movi controller. And we have a channel selection rotary switch and we also have a status light indicator. So we have the wedge set up on an Alexa Mini and a Movi M15 with an Optimo lens. And uh, we've got the full three axes set up here, so focus, iris, and zoom. Uh, the wedge is mounted up top to the Movi top rail clamp directly, and it's uh, powered from an IDX battery. So when you first get your wedge, it will be unbound with the controller and uh, when you power it up, you'll see that the status indicator light is flashing green. And when it, it gets connected successfully, it'll go to a solid green. And also during the bind process, when you start the bind process, it'll start flashing orange at high speed. As the connection uh, gets made, it'll flash at a slower speed. The next step is getting the Movi controller bound to the wedge. So that process is very similar to binding the controller to the Movi itself. Uh, the first step is to go to radio config and uh, read the channel that our controller is currently on. And then we'll also want to check which channel the wedge is on. So it looks like our wedge is on channel 6 and our, our channel on our Movi controller is channel 8. So we'll change that to channel 6 and write that. So now they're both on the same channel and uh, we'll go to bind which will allow us to bind the controller to the wedge. So to start the bind process we hit the button on top of the wedge here and then we press bind on the Movi controller and this should start flashing a slower orange saying that it's actually going through the connection process and then once it's gone back to green that means that it's connected. So now that we've got the controller successfully bound to the wedge itself, uh, it, it only allows a little bit of movement in each motor as it's starting off, uh, and that's to protect the lens from hitting its hard stops before doing an actual calibration. Uh, going into the calibration process, we'll do a few configuration tasks on the Movi controller. So we'll head into, there's two main screens to do that. Uh, the Fizz Config and Fizz Access Config. So Fizz Config deals with uh, general settings, like uh, which camera type you're using, that sort of thing. And then in the Fizz Access Config menu, that will allow us to set up each axis, uh, which type of motor we're using, some preferences as far as torque and uh, dampening, speed, some things like that. Uh, so once we've got the system configured, the next step is to calibrate all the motors to their axes. So that's an automatic process that we start by going to Fizz main screen and uh, rotating down to calibrate, the commands calibrate. And so we'll press that and that'll send the motors into a automatic calibration process. So once they sense how much torque they require, they'll move to the end stops, uh, the limits of the lens, and then uh, move back to their commanded control position. All right, so once we've got the unit fully uh, calibrated, uh, you're pretty much ready for basic operation at that point. Uh, we have a lot more settings available, things like dampening and speed limits and three axis lens mapping so that you can view each of the lens positions in real world units and all that can be checked out in the manuals. Uh, thanks for watching.